Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Today's question is, what causes antisocial personality disorder? So whenever we talk about causation and mental health disorders, we think of the term etiology. So something that's etiological to a disorder is causal to a disorder. And a lot of times with mental health disorders, we really don't know what causes the disorder, but rather we see certain associations. So certain factors seem to be consistently associated with the development of disorders. Now, antisocial personality disorder is a disorder characterized by a number of potential symptoms, including repeated behaviors that could be grounds for arrest, lying, fighting, a disregard for safety, inconsistent work behaviors, maltreatment of other individuals, poor social conformity, lack of remorse, and impulsivity. Now, in terms of the etiological factors for antisocial personality disorder, we believe that genetics explain about 50% of the variance, which leaves 50% of the variance to the environment. Now, the way that genetics and the environment interact is complex, so we don't really have precision with this, but still, we know that a large portion is probably explained by the environment. And there are a number of factors here that have been identified as being associated with the development of antisocial personality disorder. Some of them, I think, are more or less common sense, and some of them are actually quite surprising. So the first environmental factor is maltreatment as a child. And this is usually categorized as emotional neglect and abuse, physical neglect and abuse, and sexual abuse. So all of these together would be considered maltreatment as a child. Another factor that has a surprising impact is teasing. That one has shown up in the recent research. Another more controversial factor is an overprotective mother. Some studies show this has a fairly significant influence in the development of antisocial personality disorder, and other research shows that it might not have any influence. So we don't really know right now the role of an overprotective mother and the development of antisocial personality disorder. That's not clear. Another factor is witnessing intimate partner violence. This one is a little more clear in terms of its contribution. Also, inconsistent discipline seems to be fairly clear. Television viewing is associated with the development of antisocial personality disorder, in particular, excessive television viewing. And interestingly, with this research, the television viewing still predicts antisocial personality disorder even when a number of factors are controlled including IQ, sex, and socioeconomic status. So even when these factors are controlled, the effect of television viewing, its predictive power, is still there. The last factor I'll cover here is related to the maltreatment as a child factor, but it's specifically looking at maltreatment that occurs when an infant is younger than 18 months. This is known as a particularly vulnerable period in the development of antisocial personality disorder as an adult. And we think that factors that occur before 18 months that are particularly etiological are failure to greet an infant, silent interaction, so that's when a mother or father interacts without any type of verbal communication, and maternal withdrawal, when a mother is cold, distant, and doesn't have a lot of contact with an infant. So maltreatment as a child in general is associated with a higher risk of antisocial personality disorder, and particularly 18 months or younger. Maltreatment in that time period is even more strongly associated with the development of antisocial personality disorder. I hope you found this description of the etiology of antisocial personality disorder to be interesting. Thanks for watching.